Dobri den, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm finally back after I think more than two months away and I'm here on November 17th to commemorate one of the most important Czech holidays. And this holiday is designed to celebrate uh, one of the most important events in Czech history, which is the peaceful transition of power that occurred in late 1989 from a one-party communist government to a multi-party democratic regime. And that process or that event is called the Velvet Revolution. So the full history of this event is obviously way too much to explain in a YouTube video. But uh, in a nutshell, it was a series of demonstrations between the 17th of November 1989 and the end of that year that uh, eventually resulted in the resignation of the communist government and the establishment of a new democratic uh, system. And this date, the 17th of November, was already a significant date in Czech history, even before the Velvet Revolution. Because it was on this date, November 17th in 1939, so 50 years before the Velvet Revolution, that nine anti-Nazi dissidents were executed and 1,200 more were sent to concentration camps as punishment for their participation in anti-Nazi demonstrations in 1939. One of those people who died in 1939 at the hands of the Nazis was a Czech medical student named Jan Opletal. In 1989, a group of Czech students decided to organize a demonstration in commemoration of his death 50 years earlier, of the 50th anniversary of his murder, basically. And they were granted permission by the communist authorities to have a procession that followed the route of the original funeral procession for Jan Opletal that ended at the Slavian tomb in the Vyshehrad cemetery. So that is going to be our first destination today. And you can see here right away that we have uh, a stage set up for demonstrations and speeches that will probably be going on all day long. kterým se podařilo s podporou československé vlády v Londýně zejména za účast So the street that we're on right now is called Albertov Street and it's a very significant street in Czech history because this is where those demonstrations began in 1999 with a group of about 15,000 uh, Czech students who organized a procession for Jan Opletov and you can see that this event sort of becomes a combination of just a holiday celebration and also kind of a forum for political activism of all kinds. So we have Greenpeace here and there's other political organizations that are trying to advance their causes and they've set up little booths here to uh, promote their agenda, whatever it might be. And here's the police uh, showing up to make sure that the protests don't get out of hand. A little ironic considering the origin of, uh, of this holiday, but you know, it looks like the police are actually doing a good job of uh, just being there to keep things under control without without being too intimidating. So, right now, I'm just looking for an entrance to the Vyshehrad Cemetery, where the tomb of Slavin is located. And I think we found it, right here. Okay. So we're here finally at the Slavian tomb, which is right behind me in the Vyshehrad Cemetery. And it is here in 1939 that the funeral procession for Jan Opletal terminated. And so in 1989, the students who organized the demonstration also terminated their original protest march here at this tomb with permission from the communist authorities. But once they got there, they had been joined by some more protesters and uh, some of the anti-communist sentiment of the time was kind of bubbling up within the crowd. And so they decided to defy the police and continue the march from here into the center of Prague with the destination of Václavské náměstí in Národní Trída. That's when things really began to get out of hand and the protest turned into more of an anti-communist protest rather than a remembrance of Jan Opletal and the uh, International Students' Day in 1939. So we're on our way out of the Vyshehrad Cemetery and we're going to catch a tram into the center of Prague where we will see demonstrations in Václavské náměstí and Národní Trída that are related to the uh, further stages of this Velvet Revolution protest on November 17th, 1989. So, I'll catch you there. So our tour today is going to be a little bit out of order relative to the historical events because uh, it's hard to get to Václavské náměstí before 
Nara Nitrida. Uh, the, the tram schedule is a bit different today and lots of streets are blocked off. So I, I went ahead and got off the tram at Narodni Divadlo and I'm just walking here down Narodni Trida uh, towards Wenceslas Square, Václavské Náměstí. And you can see here that even though it's a cold, gray, cloudy day in the Czech Republic, tons and tons of people have come out here to celebrate the November 17th holiday. And this right here, Narodni Trida, is really the center of the November 17th celebrations. And we'll talk about the reason for that in just a second, but we're going to just get some shots of the celebrations here on Narodni Trida. And people light hundreds of candles here and place them at this one particular location on Narodni Trida. Let's get a look here. And here you can see kind of a smaller memorial with a banner with a picture of Milada Horakova and it says there Zavrajdena Komunisti which means murdered by communists. So you can see that this day and the celebrations surrounding this day are used to uh, champion a wide variety of like anti-communist and pro-freedom causes. So it's not just limited to the historical events of the Velvet Revolution or of November 17th specifically, but it's just more generally used as a celebration of political freedom and political activism in the Czech Republic. So we are very shortly going to leave Narodni Trida and make our way over to Václavské náměstí uh, for the last part of our tour. But before we leave, let's talk briefly about what happened here on this street in 1989, November 17th, that, that makes this day uh, of such great significance to Czech people, not only because of what happened uh, in 1939, but also because of the way that the protests worked out here uh, on that day in 1989 as well. So in 1989, after those student protesters left the Slavin tomb at the Vyšehrad Cemetery, they made their way towards the center of Prague without the permission of the communist police. And as they went, the anti-communist sentiment grew stronger and stronger. More and more people joined the, uh, the procession. And by the time they made it into the center of the city, there was a violent confrontation with the riot police here at Nauru Trida, And they basically trapped the protesters into this street and gave them only a couple of very narrow pathways to escape. And as people tried to escape the protest, the police just bludgeoned them with uh, sticks and basically violently suppressed the protest and uh, arrested a lot of people. And the outrage from that event sparked a series of continuing protests over the next uh, five or six weeks, basically the, uh, the remainder of that year, 1989, that eventually resulted in the dissolution of the Communist Party in the Czech Republic and the installation of a new democratic regime. So these events also coincided with uh, the broader dissolution of the Soviet Union and uh, basically everything that was happening in this part of the world, uh, politically and culturally, in the, at the end of the, uh, of the 80s. So it's obviously an incredibly important uh, moment in the history of the Czech Republic, in the history of the world generally, the history of the 20th century. And it's really exciting to be right here at the epicenter of one of the most important episodes of that history and just to be sharing this moment with uh, Czech people who still 32 years later are still very aware of the significance of this moment and very aware of what it means for them as individuals and as a nation. Okay, so now we're going to make our way over to Václavské náměstí, which is, uh, might as well be connected to Národní Přída. It's just about a two-minute walk away, and we'll get some shots of the proceedings over there, and then we'll call it a day. So we're going to wrap up the video here in Václavské náměstí, which is a place of infinite historical significance for Czech people. And I've talked about that in other videos, so I won't even get into it here. But uh, this square has been the site of 
so many important events and uh, protests and uh, events that really shaped the course of the 20th century in a lot of ways here in Central Europe. So, so thank you once again for watching. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube making videos again. Hopefully this is the first of many more to come. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again. Ciao.